We spend the day on the research vessel Dorena R with Captain Jimmy Rule and his crew. Also on board is New Bedford Mayor Scott Lang, along with invited guests. Captain Jim Rule has been a commercial fisherman for 40 years. He serves as a chair for the Trawl Survey Committee and as a voting member of the Mid-Atlantic Fishery Management Council, and also is the president of the Commercial Fishermen of America. The survey named Northeast Area Monitoring and Assessment Program was developed to augment NOAA surveys in the shallow waters between three and four miles offshore between Cape Cod and Cape Hatteras after it was discovered that a boat that the federal government had built to do the survey, the Bigelow, was designed with too deep a draft to fish in shallow areas. The government's mistake, along with the faulty data of another NOAA boat, the Albatross, which fishermen called Trollgate, has been the fishermen's gain. By this fall, the scientists on board the Dorena R will have three years of data that Mr. Rule believes will prove that there are more fish in the sea than had previously been believed. And now you see the doors going over the side, which will help keep the net spread out. Door spread, wing spread, hedgerow pipe, and bottom contact all need to be exact. Mayor Scott Lang is briefed by Captain Jimmy Rule on the current operations. Just came out of New Bedford. We're that little sample. The doors are on the bottom. And the, the opening of the net is only 43 feet between wide, 43 feet wide, but 17 feet high. And, and we're, we're, that's the path that we're covering right now. And what they'll do is calculate back. They'll take a catch, and it'll be basically, we're doing three, three knots, 3.1, three knots. So at 20 minutes, we'll cover one knot. My job is not to find fish. My job is to make sure that that gear performs consistently. I, I want the net has to do exactly what it's supposed to do and behave like it's supposed to. If I tear it up, I fix it, you know, and I can recognize if something's wrong with it. But I'm not fishing, per se, because I have to go where the computer tells me to go. It's a wireless uh, acoustic sensors, and basically what they do is they give us a near real-time picture of, of how our net is fishing, the geometry of our gear. Um, we have a, a headline sensor, so a, a head sensor mounted on a, basically the top rope of the net gives us an idea of how, how high the, that line is off the bottom. Uh, we have a sensor on each of the wings of the net. It gives us a distance measurement between the wings. Right now we're at 13.2 meters. Uh, we also have uh, similar sensors, spread sensors on the doors uh, that tell us that right now we're 31.9 meters of spread on our doors. Uh, we have a bottom contact sensor on the sweep. Um, and then we also have a catch sensor, uh, which we have set to trip when we catch, uh, when we get to about 5,000 pounds of, of catch in the cod end. Um, just basically tells us we're going to be busy. Currently, it's anywhere between 5 and I think 12 seconds we get an update from each one of them. After a 20 minute tow, the net is brought back in.
Scientists from the Virginia Institute of Marine Science help to collect, identify, and catalog each and every ocean species. We now begin our journey back into port. The purpose of NEMAP is to create the best available data, which has industry confidence and to augment, not replace, the surveys of the Science Center. Captain Rule believes that the ecosystem along the Atlantic coast was gaining strength, the result of a decade of intense conservation. Every species is increasing in size when looking at data from the Science Center. This video was filmed in September of 2009 and the Dorena R is now preparing for its 2010 spring survey.